If your dryer is spinning, but it's not heating, check this out. It might be your problem. After we first unplug the machine, we're going to come take out the nine perimeter screws that hold on the back panel, check our thermal fuse, but it's probably good because the dryer is spinning. Now we're going to check our cycling thermostat for the top and bottom terminals to have continuity. If that's good, we're going to come up to our thermal cutoff on the top of the element. Check these two for continuity. Then we're going to come to the bottom. If our high limit thermostat and our element both show continuity, we're going to come up to the terminal block. If we have 120 volts from the neutral to L1 and the neutral to L2, then we're good there. Now we're going to take out the six screws to hold on the timer panel and then we're going to unplug all of the harnesses take a picture if you need so you know where to plug them back into but they usually only match certain prongs after removing the timer from the panel i'm going to take out these two phillips head screws that are holding on the face plate i always make sure whenever i take these off that i hold the timer motor on the bottom so it doesn't fall off and take it off very carefully now if this looks like a fire hazard to you then you would be correct the constant arcing between these two contacts is caused buildup and excessive heat that's why this one is melted to the plastic and there is no continuity get a new timer